How's it going ladies and gentlemen, this is Sars here and I'll have to apologize for my voice, I'm getting over a cold, but this is going to be a video featuring my UI and how I set it up and how I make it look nice and pretty and all that kind of good stuff. Alright, so I figured the best way to do that would be to start a new character since um, LUI, which is the main bit that I use that makes my UI look the way it is. It's an add-on that kind of throws everything together, makes things look cool. So to start off with, I figured, hey, what's better than to create a new character? So that way, you know, I can show you how to do it from scratch instead of just showing you kind of how I have it and then going backwards from there. So uh, you can see that things are looking a bit rough right now. We've got kind of components of the Blizzard UI still left here in the mini map and this bar down here at the bottom, the ugly gargoyles. Um, we've got this kind of junk here. We've got some junk up here. We've got our bars overlapping here like that. Um, so what we're going to do, we're just going to hit install right here on the LUI and let it do its thing. And when we come back, things should be looking a little bit tidier. Um, definitely still going to be some work that needs to be done. We still have this junk going on here. Um, we have now the standard LUI unit frames that we're going to get rid of look crappy, obviously, because they're all like, you know, all up on all over each other. So let's get started. Oh, another thing is the colors. The colors start as your class color. Um, you can change the theme. I'll show you about that later, but let's get started. You click on the cog wheel up here in the top for LUI options. And to start off with, let's go to modules. This is where we're going to turn on and off things that we want, that we don't want um, for LUI to build control. So now these are all up to you, but this is just going to kind of go through and show you what I do. So I take off the auras, I leave chat alone, I take off nameplates, I leave minimap alone, I leave tooltips alone, I take off bags, uh, cooldown disabled, that's leave, leave, interrupt announcer off, uh, leave off, threat no, vengeance no, unit frames no, that got rid of that right there as you saw, uh, world map no, I want that off, and uh, then I will accept this. And it's going to reload and it's going to, they're going to be things that are not controlled by LUI any longer. Um, all right. Now the next thing we're going to get into is we have these bars here on the sides. These are really cool and awesome. I think this is one of the coolest things with LUI that you can open and close these bars here and you can control this kind of stuff by going to bars. Now, another thing I do here is turn off. This is under general and you'll turn off the LUI's action bars and that we will reload on that also. Because you don't want the L, if you have the LUI action bars, and it just, um, we're not using those because we want to use Bartender 4. So, going back up to the cogwheel here, going to bars and, all right, let's look at left bar one, which is gonna be using Bartender 4 bar nine, enable, and now it's enabled, and you can drag a spell up here, and it will sit in there just like that, and close, you know, oh, you can also set it to not animate like that, which I think it looks cool, so why not? Um, all right, now let's look at, what are we gonna do first? Shadow unit frames slash SUF. Things are already, they already look pretty cool to begin with. Um, essentially what I use, we got, you know, yourself, we got the player here, target and the target of target up here like that. Um, we have the pet is in a bit of an awkward position there. Uh, I don't play a hunter or a warlock at all, really. Um, but I suppose, you know, I don't know where you hunters, you know what you crazy hunters do, but I don't know, maybe there, whatever. Um, we got your focus, which is right there. That's where I have my focus just kind of up on the left like that. And the other things I'll just keep the same. And I'm going to go to bartender four and lock like this. And this is the, w this is the way I do my bars, something in this area. Um, 
once again personal preference but this is kind of how i do it obviously these aren't the right those aren't all the right size and everything but that's kind of a general idea of how i do it and i keep the extra bar somewhere like right there and then we are going to look at voodoo raid frames i have um for rating for 10 man rating which is what i do i have it set up such as this like that bam there you go you know you get one two three four five one two three four five they go down like this this leaves room right here for my cast bar which goes right there um but then it, once again you could set this up however you like and it goes right in front of this little kind of accent bar that's right here my my raid frames do so i get rid of this and i do that by going to bars and then top texture disable and this is the bottom texture right there and i leave those up there because they look cool whatever but the top one is right in the middle of where my raid frames go by so i like to take that off like so um chat i pretty much leave alone i may add time stamps on there wherever it is you can find it other than that yeah i'll leave that uh the way it is let's see okay you got your colors here and then they have each of the classes and i i'm a dude so i don't not really going digging the pink on paladin so i was going back and forth between deep freeze which i think looks pretty darn cool and then orange marmalade and i think that's the one i'm using right now yeah is orange marmalade but sometimes i also use deep freeze um i think also that the mage blue looks kind of cool too so but you know that's obviously personal preference however you like it Okay, so what do we need to go over next? Um, we've got da 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 da. da. Um, raid frames, uniframe. Okay, nameplates. Let's see here. Slash tidy plates, like so. Tidy plates, and I use threat plates. Um, they're really awesome. Um, I like them a lot, and basically they will allow you to see you know whether you have aggro you set it up to where you have um like if you're dps or healing spec when you have when you're tanking something in a dps or healing spec the icon is very large and red and or the nameplate i'm sorry is very large and red you know showing that you have aggro and you shouldn't and if it's, it becomes medium and yellow, if you're like, you have a, uh, some aggro or whatever, th some threat, but not, you're not tanking it. And then when the tank, the proper tank has aggro or someone besides you has aggro, it's smaller and green. And let's see if I can uh, show you guys. Uh, where's my, uh, there we go. Okay. See that how I'm tanking it, which I shouldn't be as a hunter. So it's red. Like that, and now my pet's tanking it, so the thing turned green, just like that. That's what threat place does. It's it's pretty pretty darn cool. I'll show you again. It's red, and it's got the little ah watch out things on it. My pet goes over there and taking it, and now it's green and smaller, like it should be. So it's just kind of like a caution thing. It it shows you when you need to watch out because, you know, you shouldn't have aggro on something, and you do. So that is threat plates. Other than that, I also use Deadly Boss Mods, self-explanatory. Some people like Deuce Fox Encounter. Some people like whatchamacallit, I can't even think of it right now. The other one, besides DBM and Deuce Fox Encounters, oh, uh, shoot. I can't think of it. But I use, that's what I use, Deadly Boss Mods. Okay. Now, up here, we have these things, um, these buttons turn on and off things. Like this shows the little background for chat, as you can see down here. This one here controls the omen threat meter, which actually I'll show you guys. For some reason, it likes to be um, silly like that and like overlapping the chat. So you got go here to slash omen config or slash omen, yeah, config. And I just pull it over just a little, get it just right like that, lock it in place bam there you go that looks nice and pretty there um this is our uh, recount and for recount you can go slash recount lock and pull it over oops 
pull it over like so. Now this is obviously kind of overlapping. I'd fix this. I'd move my bars over whatever, make this a little thinner, but that goes about right there. And then you could slash recount lock again and lock it in place. And I also adjust the colors because they come standard gray like that. I adjust the colors to look more appropriate to the class colors. Um, and that's recount. And then we also have things going on up here. If you're if you're mark if you mark targets, that's pretty cool. We've got this kind of stuff, and that can toggle the bar the your main bar going on here. But this this serves as your your main little the it replaces the blizzard bar with the dungeon finder and the dungeon journal and your talents and your spell book and all that kind of stuff like that. All right, guys, um, going over a couple little other add-ons that aren't necessarily really, really part of the UI. They kind of are, but um, I use, they're not totally necessary. I use Quartz Cast Bar, and that um, is just an awesome, if you're doing any sort of casting, Quartz Cast Bars is awesome, even if you're not, actually. Um, it's just, it's really nice to be able to customize not only your own cast bar, but your target and your um, your focus target also, because I like to have that nice and big to where I can see where my focus is casting or my target is casting. But that can all be set up here in Slash Quartz. So the way you like it, I have my own um, personal cast bar, which goes in this area right here. And then I have my target, which is a big wide, like 50% um, or so visibility right here. And then my focus goes just above it, just a huge bar. So you can really see when um, your target or your focus target are uh, casting spells. Or right, we have also Bagnon is what I use for my bag. Um, the default one is fine too, but I'm just used to bag none and that's the one I like. So that's what I use, you know, it just, I, you know, that's just personal preference, but that's, you know, it's part of my add-on, so I'll mention it. Bag none there. Also, I use RSA, which is a spell announcer um, for raiding and stuff. It'll tell your raid when you're using important spells. You can set that up the way you like as well. Slash RSA, and you can set... The, Set that up however you like um, as far as, you know, just which spells are going to be um, announced and how they're going to be announced. And they're going to be announced in save, they're going to be announced in your raid chat, they're going to be announced in party chat or, or uh, stuff like that. All right. Also, I use GTFO uh, for raiding which just helps you, you know, it gives you a really annoying buzzer sound when you're standing in fire or something like that. Not really part of the UI, but one of the add-ons I do use. So, yeah, that. And also, um, I'm obviously not for rating, but I do have another setup where I have add-ons such as Auctioneer, Auctionator, and Market Watcher, which are all very important add-ons. If you like to make gold or you want to try and make gold in the auction house, you should definitely check out Auctionator, Auctioneer, and Market Watcher. Another um, add-on I have, which is very nice, is... Ah, get down here. Let's see. Is Add-on Control Panel, and this allows you to control your add-ons on the go like without logging out and stuff it's really really awesome i have a crap ton of add-ons i don't normally have a lot of them um active um just because they're they're situational pvp different tunes all that kind of stuff whatever um but as you can see i'm going to just go through some of these real quick and you can see the ones let's see i'll go for when i'm while i'm raiding this is what i have these are the add-ons that i have on you have atlas loot uh, that just shows you what bosses drop, what loot, and all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Bagnon, as I mentioned, Bartender 4. Basic chat mods is the chat thing. Um, button facade is what makes the buttons look pretty. For Bartender, you got Deadly Boss mods. Flare Up, that's how you you can mark the ground, whatever, if you're assist or raid leading, whatever. I have it on. Um, GTFO, like I mentioned. LUI, which is the main bit. Mapster, also, I didn't mention, but... I have my map set up like this, which is kind of cool. I can have the full, like the full nice big map effect, and I can still see my character a little bit and see what he's what he's up to and where we're going. So that's pretty cool. That's Mapster, uh, Mask, 
Let's see. We got Pally Power. That's obviously for the Paladin. Postal just makes getting things when you're selling on the auction house. That's another thing that you're going to want to grab if you're selling on the auction house is Postal because it makes grabbing things from your mailbox much, much easier. Power Auras is... Um, it's very popular add-on that you can use to show when things proc, when you have uh, certain buffs and all that kind of stuff, when abilities are off cooldown. I use that for my Paladin. You'll see it in all my videos. Quartz of the Cast Bar, Recount, Obvious, RSA, which is the Spell Announcer. Um, Shadowed, woo, we went way too far. Um, let's go down here. We've got, uh, as our, okay, Shadowed Unit Frames. That's our Unit Frames, obviously. Um, tidy Plates, like I said, Tidy Plates, Threat Plates, um, our threat plates are like the add-on for the add-on of tidy plates. That's what I use. Um, tip tack are the little, um, tool tips. Um, voodoo are the raid frames and that's pretty much it Th That goes over most anything I use. Um, now if we're going to be doing PVP other add-ons that I do use. Now, this isn't going to apply to people that really care about mostly the UI. Um, but in PVP, I do, in addition to what I normally use, I will be adding interrupt bar. Um, what else? Let's see. We got, okay, Gladiator L-O-S-S-A. It's really cool. Some people think it's cheap. I use it in arenas. Um, it basically announces in a in a woman's voice the spells that the enemy team is using now people call it cheap but then again to an extent all add-ons are kind of cheapening the game in a way making it easier but you can tell when a certain class trinkets you can tell when they're using you know when a warrior is using recklessness blade storm all that kind of good stuff you know when um you know just all the important spells get announced, which is pretty cool when, when large heals that are being casted that need to be interrupted are going off, stuff like that. Um, Gladius is obvious for arenas. Um, you have to have Gladius because, well, you don't have to, but it's cool to have. Um, it shows different information about the enemy team. Um, healers have to die is very important for battlegrounds because it targets it puts a big red cross over healers and lets you know where those healers are and you know make sure you focus them down don't be a baddie focus down the healers and good game you know you've won your battleground so that pretty much covers everything um if i think of anything else i'll tack it on once again to the end of the video but i believe that just about covers everything um i'll put a link in the description to, to l to get the lui which is the main component of um, my ui and all the add other add-ons i showed you can be they're available on curse i would recommend downloading the curse client because that makes everything much easier to deal with and download on patch day you're not going crazy trying to get all the updates you know you got it right there you can just turn and you know use the curse client to uh, do it all so guys thanks for watching any questions don't be afraid to comment and let me know what's up and what you guys think all right